So let's take a look at this picture right here, okay? Because it's really important. There's a very big optical illusion that exists in the golf swing that you need to be aware of that could definitely help you out in terms of hitting the golf ball better. So when you look at this picture of this golf professional, right? This is Tiger Woods. Tell me, look at his belt line. Look at his waistline. Does it not look like it's level to the ground? Does it not look like he's turned behind the golf ball? Right? Like he's rotated like this behind the ball. Right? It definitely looks that way. It looks that way to my eye too. But we're going to talk about why that's not exactly true and how that could be hurting your golf game if that's what you see. Before we do that though, just as always, I've got an email list that all my secret subscribers know about where they get free emails every week that help their game, give them different in info about golf and how to get better, how to hit it farther and straighter. All you need to do is click the link down below. And if my content has ever helped you out, please feel free to like and subscribe to my channel. It really helps boost the channel. Okay, so let's go ahead and talk about exactly what's going on here. Okay, so what I'm gonna do first, with the help of my friend Lewis here, is I'm gonna swing to the top of my backswing, and I want you to look how I look very much like Tiger Woods, okay? As he goes to put this belt loop, this stick through my belt loop, you're going to see that it actually is not level to the ground. You notice how the, the, the tip end of the belt loop or of the stick is much lower than the trail end, okay? He is not, and I am not, I am not turning like this, okay? What mo most people might call turning behind the ball, okay? This is a very different way to turn. It's not proper in terms of just me having the right inclination down to the ground, but also when I turn level to the ground like this, there's no load or stretch in my body and I'm not able to use the ground powerfully. When, like we've been talking about for the last couple of videos, when we're actually able to properly tilt the pelvis, right? I'm using my feet and knees to tilt the pelvis and bring the club back to the top. You can see how that's really an optical illusion. My belt is not level to the ground. It does have some tilt, okay? And next, I want you to watch this other camera view. Watch what happens when we slowly pan around the golfer in a nice you know, panoramic view to see exactly what that tilt looks like from all different angles. And we're gonna show you some pros with the same effect afterwards so you can really visualize this. I hope you all could appreciate that optical illusion, okay? And if those of you that are picturing a turn, right, like I'm turning back or turning in a barrel, that's not really what's happening in the golf swing, and that's probably why you're lacking in some distance and some compression. Okay, so notice here, I've got this tape on my body, right? My knees are level to the ground when I start, my hips are level to the ground, my shoulders are level to the ground. I need to get out of this very quickly. So what happens here, in order, my feet control my knees, my knees are going to tilt my pelvis, the tilt of the pelvis gives me the tilt of the shoulders, and that controls the path of my hands or the plane of the club. That's very important because that's what gets me on plane coming back and through, and that's also what gets the club face to remain square. So it starts with the feet, right? The feet actually control the release of the club and control the face. So if you're doing this incorrectly by turning back like this, your face is gonna be all over the place, right? And we're gonna hit a lot of left and right shots. So what starts a good golf swing is I'm actually first, I'm pushing with my, I'm pushing off the ground to get a little bit of tilt in my knees. You notice how my right knee is already higher than my left and my right hip is higher than the left side of my hip, right? So I've got a little pelvic tilt. That's getting me to get into the right position with my shoulders. So you see just from both camera views here, as I take that golf club away, that's what's getting me to take it away on plane as opposed to turning back like this not getting any stretch or load against the ground and having just in general a very armsy looking motion, okay? In order to really use the ground and use my body well, I need to use the ground by pushing and tilting myself as I go back. Now, I got a lot of questions the last couple weeks. It's like, well, is this the stack and tilt? I've heard of this. This is when you're stacking left and doing this. It's like, it's not the stack and tilt, okay? Because I assure you, as I go to kind of properly tilt, my pressure is on my trail leg. So I'm fully, I'm fully into this trail leg 
especially by about this point in the backswing. Okay? Now as I get to the top and I start to move down, the pressure is starting to glide forward, but we're definitely fully into this trail leg. The stack and tilt was a little bit more marked for not getting that much pressure into your rear leg. Okay? But they did talk a lot about tilting. So if we can get that sensation of like, okay, let's start from the ground up, push off the ground in a way that gets the trail side higher than the lead side. So I'm pushing off the ground like we've been talking about for the last couple of videos to get enough tilt when I get back to the top of my backswing. That's how we get that club to go right up in this three-dimensional swing plane, right? It goes right up this plane because my body's on plane. So I hope just by seeing some of this stuff, you're able to visualize what a good backswing looks like. And the reason why I'm emphasizing the backswing so much is what I found with my students. Once they get their backswing in place, the downswing becomes, I'm not gonna say automatic, but darn close, okay? I'm seeing so many issues which is backswings being out of position, turning too flat, turning behind the ball, no coil, no stretch. Um, and so, and just in general, just a very armsy motion, okay? So getting a good sense of that, watching some of these videos I'm gonna show you next, and you're gonna see that same look from these, you know, four dimensional cameras going around the players, you're gonna see the same exact look that I'm showing you here in person. Rory McElroy first off here, and take close attention to his hips. Look at how level they look from this face-on view. He looks to be behind the ball. But like we said, it's really an optical illusion, right? As the camera pans, you notice the tilt to his knees, the tilt to his pelvis, and his torso. Dustin Johnson, same thing, right? Looks like he's turning back behind the golf ball. Knees look pretty level. From these angled views, you start to see the tilt in his knees, how much higher his right hip is, how much his torso is leaning slightly towards the target. And then same thing, I'm gonna include that original picture that we showed of Tiger Woods from face on. Watch this angled view in 4D and really start to appreciate what your body should be doing in the golf swing to make the same backswing that these great players are making. Thank you so much for watching that video. If you really liked it, feel free to subscribe or give me a thumbs up. I love hearing from you guys too, so definitely drop a comment with any questions or concerns. But if you really wanna get a lot of my content that's not on YouTube, I have an email list. All you need to do is click the link below, put your email in, and you'll be getting all this content for free that nobody else gets on YouTube. Lessons from me that come out almost every other day. I'll talk to you soon.